What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and we are finally at the build video for the Hackintosh. It is up and running behind me because obviously this um, recording this part after I actually put it together just to make sure I had enough time to edit and whatnot. But this is going to be a three-part video series. So the first part, which you're about to watch right now, is prepping the case, installing the DVD drive, as well as the CPU, CPU fan, and the memory to the motherboard, and placing the entire motherboard into the case. So that's going to be part one of the build. Uh, the other parts are going to come within the next few days. Um, and then after the build video is complete, I'll show you how to install the operating system. So I'm really excited about this. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. Let's see how fast we can hit 5,000. Let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. We need to pop in our port cover that came with our motherboard. Every motherboard will come with one of these. Mine uh, just came in this little plastic bag here, so you need to take it out of any wrapping it might be in, and we're going to install this into our case. So on any computer case you get, there's going to be a slot on the back just like that one where you can pop this port cover in, and you always pop it in from the inside uh, going out. So always start from the inside and pop it towards outward. Don't pop it in from the outside. But we need to figure out which direction it's going to face. So hold up your motherboard, see which direction it goes. My motherboard, I can see that the USB and PlayStation ports are on the top. So I'm going to make sure that on the port cover, the USB and PlayStation ports are on the top and the audio is at the bottom. Just reach on the inside, pop it in until you hear it click. You'll know when it's in there pretty good and you'll, you should have no problems with that. So we have that. And uh, now we want to go ahead and if you're installing a DVD drive, which I highly recommend, we're going to go put that in now, just so we don't have to mess with anything later. So here's my drive. It's going to be going right here up top in the front. So look at your manual and see how these little face plates come off. Mine, you just reach on the inside, squeeze these little tabs. Again, look at your case manual to see how these come out. And now you're going to take your drive. And um, before you do that, my drive has an unlock and a lock quick release right there. I'm going to set that to the unlock position. If you have screws, unscrew the screws. Slide your drive in. And you want to slide it in until it is lined up with the rest of the faceplate. So on the same level, that's perfect right there. I'm going to switch it back to lock. Now that drive's not going anywhere, if you use screws, just go ahead and screw the screws back in. So our drive is now installed. So if you take a look at what you get with your case, you're going to get some screws. They're called standoffs, and they screw into the back of your case to raise the motherboard off of the metal of the case. That way it doesn't make any contact and damage the board. They look just like that. They screw into the back of the case. You'll get them in a little Ziploc bag, and just make sure you screw those into the correct holes. Uh, you're going to just hold up your motherboard and look at where they go and figure out where to screw them into. Um, so now we want to uh, set the case aside for a second, and we are going to um, do the install of the CPU onto the motherboard. So I would recommend placing your motherboard uh, on the cardboard box that came in. That's a pretty safe place to put it. And now you want to take your CPU, looks like this, um, as well as your CPU fan, um, and make sure you have some thermal paste to put on it. Um, which is that little gray stuff. If you're using the stock CPU fan that comes with it, you probably already have thermal paste installed like I do there. If not, you're going to need to buy some and install it yourself. This is our CPU socket right here. So there's our CPU socket right here. I'm going to just pull this latch out, lift up like that. It'll pop all the way open. I'm going to remove the protective cover. There we go, you just lift up from the bottom. This will pop off, and there's your socket. Those pins are ridiculously delicate, so be very careful. Now go ahead and open up your CPU, and um, you wanna pop it out, but this is the important part. You don't want to hold it by the top on the silver. Hold it right by the edges. Don't touch the bottom, do not touch the top. You don't want any grease to get on the top. And uh, now we can go and sit it into place. There's a little notch right there and there on either side. And they it can only go in one way. 
they line up with the notches and um, just drop it in place just like that. That should be all set. Go ahead and drop that back down. There we go, now it's fully in. That's how you do it. And uh, now we're gonna take our CPU fan and install that as well. Um, it doesn't really matter which way the stock CPU fan goes in. If you're using a third party one, it does. So look at the manual. Um, this performs the same way no matter which way it goes. Uh, the only thing you wanna be aware about is if you want the sticker to face upright, make sure you put it upright. So look at how the motherboard's gonna go in. Go ahead and line this up. There'll be these little pins that will drop into the holes. Make sure it's all in. And now we're going to push the pin down. Just choose one. Push it in. Do you hear a click? Do the opposite corner. Then the other opposite corner. And, and the corner across from that. Another one. And our CPU fan is installed. And now uh, if you need to pick the board up, pick it up by that fan and that'll be the correct way to pick it up now. You don't need to hold it by the edges anymore. And now this little cord right here is gonna go into the CPU fan socket. Um, so I'm just going to pull that open and connect the fan. And that's how you install the CPU. Now we wanna go ahead and install the motherboard into the computer case. So we are um, going to take our case and lay it flat on the table. Make sure you don't crush any of the cables that are inside of here. Um, if you have cables dangling like this, go ahead and just find somewhere to feed them to, to just kind of get them out of the way for now. So if you need to put them somewhere um, so you can get them out of the way that's what I'm going to do here, so I'm just going to take this wrap of cables and uh, first of all unwind it because it'll be easier to work with. And I'm just going to route, route it out through the back for now so I don't have to deal with them. I'm going to tuck these up there. Make sure you have your screws. Uh, they should look like this. Uh, that's as close as I can get it, but look at your manual. We're going to take the board here very carefully. We are going to lower it in and what you want to do is line the board up using the ports that, um, using, you know, the ports on the side of the board. And that looks perfect. So I'm going to start screwing these in. All right, so the motherboard is fully installed. Now we're going to go for our RAM. Grab your RAM. I'm using two four gigabyte sticks, which is equal to eight gigabytes. So you can either use two or four sticks. Here's our RAM slots right in here. RAM slots here, they're actually marked DDR3-4, DDR3-2, DDR3-3, and DDR3-1. So DDR3 is the kind of RAM you have to use. This is DDR3 RAM. And then the dash and the number is the slot. So that's slot four, that's slot two, that's slot three, and that's slot one. Um, you want to, if you're using two sticks, you want to use slot one and two. If you're using four, you want to use one through four. I'm using two, so I have to go for slot one and two. So here's one. So I'm going to pull these latches open. The RAM can only go in one way. There's this uh, groove here, which is not in the center. So you can only drop the RAM in one way. And um, just drop it in here. Get it lined up. Give it a good push down. There we go, there. You gotta actually really push down on that. Um, and then we're gonna do slot two, which is this one right here. Pull the latches open, drop the RAM in. Make sure that these clips are fastened and our RAM is fully installed and that looks pretty sweet. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Part two and three will be up pretty shortly, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything. Please give this video a like if it helped you out or interested you in any way. That really does help me out a lot. Thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. Again, let's see if we can hit 5,000 pretty darn fast. And uh, I will catch you in my next video. See ya.